The Xbox Series X is a phenomenal console. It really truly is a great piece of, of hardware and great um, architecture and industry standard for a game console right now. However, as good as it is and as amazing as it can be, it lacks a lot of features that I will, would say are kind of just brain dead in the sense of why aren't they here? Especially when you're competing with other platforms who do kind of have those features that your console is, is missing. When you're trying to validate the reason and pricing for your console versus another console and things of that nature and why you're trying to convince people to play your console or play your competitor consoles, you think to yourself, what's there that's feature wise? Because at the end of the day, most people do, you know, base their opinions on, you know, how the controller feels or what exclusives are there, but also people factor in features. You know, what's the ease of access? What's the convenience like? And when it comes down to the Xbox Series X, it is a very inconvenient console. And we're talk about that in today's video. We're talk about what things about the Xbox Series X that I feel is very, very um, inconvenient. But hope you all have a good day. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anubis, the Gamer Archer. Um, we, we do a variety of different content over here on YouTube. You know, we're on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. Link in the description box below. So let's get into today's video. So the first inconvenient thing about the Xbox that I want to talk about is the need of batteries. I know that's, that seems like a, a little weird and batteries aren't really a feature as we mentioned, we mentioned we're talking about some features, but every platform, the Nintendo Switch, PS5, basically has a rechargeable, you know, controller. You know, when it comes to the, 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 the Switch uh, controls, those attached to the, the screen. The, the DualShock has a built-in battery, battery that you just charge with a, a regular USB, USB. The Xbox Series X and the Xbox One, um, its predecessor, all require you to use batteries. And it's such a, a weird and outdated thing that when, X, when Microsoft came out with their new Xbox system, they didn't decide to redesign the controller to, you know, have a built-in battery pack. Now, the reasons why they, they decided to do this are two things. One, sponsorship deals. Xbox and DoorSill have a very long standing partnership together, which is why every time you buy a controller, you get a free pack of DoorSill uh, uh, batteries. But again, they're just batteries. They're, they're going to you know be used up fairly quickly if you're uh, an, an average gamer. Studies show that the average gamer plays games for six hours a day. So you're going to use up those batteries within a week. Um, if you're an average gamer, for example, while on the other hand, if you're playing on PlayStation, you just plug your, if your batteries are dying. You just plug it into a, a USB um, charger and you're, you're, you're good the other thing about xbox on, on why they even have batteries to begin with is they sell a separate charge and play kit the charge and play kit is a rechargeable battery that you can buy that comes with a usb cord that you plug into your xbox so you can charge and play on on the go that's problematic to me you know this is basically microsoft being way more capitalistic than they need to be they don't need to be selling a charge and play kit. You can just build a controller that has the battery pack built inside of it, not the battery pack separate. So it's a very inconvenient thing. And it's also kind of annoying. Another inconvenient thing about Xbox is hard drives. The Xbox is a system that requires you to have proprietary hard drives. If you want to have an ex anything that's it's external. So here's how the Xbox hard drive system works. If you install an Xbox Series X game that's labeled XS on it, it can only be installed on either A, a proprietary external hard drive, or B, your internal hard drive. You cannot install those games on a regular external hard drive. It can't be. Let's, let's say you have a, a regular Seagate hard drive that you have for your Xbox One, or you have a, any other brand hard drive that you have for your Xbox One, and you upgrade to Xbox Series X. You can still use those hard drives for your Xbox One games, but you can't use those games to use out those hard drives for your new games, for your Series X games, your, your Series S games. You have to put them on your, your internal or buy a proprietary external that's built for the console itself. You can't use any other like devices for it. It has to be the ones that are built and made for Xbox. Now, this goes back to something about door sale when I said that um, they have a partnership with a, a battery company. Xbox has a partnership with Seagate to make, you know, the proprietary external hard drives for the Xbox Series X. And again, this is just more inconvenience on Xbox making you spend more money than you need to. You don't get that many gigabytes. Or you don't get that, that, that much hard drive space for the internal when it comes to Series X to begin with. As big as games are nowadays, especially the, the, the next gen games, you're only going to be able to install, you know, maybe like 10 to 16 games on your internal hard drive just based on the size of some of these games. Sometimes even less than that if you're playing games like ESO that's over 100 gigs and Destiny was also over, over 100 gigs and Call of Duty also over or over 100 gigs you're not if you're so on a lot of those games that are over 100 gigs 
you're gonna run out of space very very quickly so you're kind of forced to spend i think like the, the cheapest one for the xbox series that's like 100 bucks or 200 bucks so on top of spending 500 dollars for the actual console itself you're spending an extra few hundred dollars just to get an external hard drive and you're spending an extra like what 25 30 bucks for the, the charge and play kit so there's so much extra things you have to buy just to be able to enjoy the xbox series x and it's just inconvenient again i don't know how hard drives work on ps5 i don't own one but what i do know from just doing some research and from my cousin who owns ps5 telling me that you can use like an ssd on the playstation, PlayStation 5. so th the next inconvenient um thing about the xbox series x and this is more so a bigger one for me personally as someone who's a content creator now i don't have to really deal with it all that much but just as one's content creator this is very inconvenient and also if you're someone who's looking to become a content creator this could sway your decision on what platform you decide to make content on you cannot use a usb microphone on the xbox there's like you can go on youtube and find like all these extra like things that you can do in terms of like buying splitters and things like that like a bunch of other stuff on the side to make it work but when it comes down to it if you want to just plug in a usb microphone like a, a razor siren or a hypercast or you know the elgato wave mic if you want to just plug in a usb microphone and just use it as your microphone you can't do that on xbox for whatever reason they don't allow you to do that but on playstation you can on playstation you can just plug in a usb microphone and, and just use it you know plug and play being done you're good on xbox you can't so if you're someone who doesn't own a pc you want to get into say twitch streaming Twitch streaming is you know is, is there's a plethora of people who are trying to get into Twitch streaming especially from consoles because consoles you can just hit the hit the, the, the twitch app and start a stream that way you don't have to have any other hardware you can stream directly from your console so when you do that you might want to have a very good microphone that to speak into so people can, can hear you clearly and not have those you know kind of shitty mics that come with that with, with headsets so you can't do that on Xbox. You can't just plug in a USB microphone like a Quadcast or the, the Wave mic or a hyper, uh, the, the, the X-Siren from Razer. You can't just plug those in and just be like, boom, I got me a nice mic so my chat and whoever watches my, my streams directly from Xbox or PlayStation can just hear me. On PlayStation, you can do that. On Xbox, you can't. And that's really inconvenient and just weird. Like I'm pretty sure it'll be as, as simple as like a, a firmware update to allow people to use a microphone on the xbox series x now again we're, we're talking about why these things might be a thing and we're, we're going into the capitalistic capitalistic mindset potentially they just don't want to freaking like alienate any of their partners who sell headsets you know like razor razor sell headsets that use on xbox but i would counter that argument by saying they could make like le legitimate like devices for the xbox you can make an xbox edition of the razor siren and sell that you can market like again we're, we're being capitalistic here you can mark up an extra, an extra 20 bucks because it's air quotes a special edition that's only for xbox and you can say like it, it has better features than the regular siren and um it, it, it you can you can say it doesn't work on, on other platforms but it does air quotes yeah you can do things and microsoft gets a percentage of it as well to where you can you can market a, a regular microphone a plug a plug and play us microphone for the, the xbox console same thing like, like if you're if you're HyperX, if you're razor if you're elgato if you're any of these companies who makes us microphones you will want to be to be able to sell your product on the xbox because people who are getting to toy streaming who can't afford to get a pc and can't afford to get it get let's say uh, an elgato capture card they can stream directly from their console and they will want to have your microphone they'll spend that 50 70 to 100 dollars to to get that if you're if you're hyper range you can make an xbox edition hyper uh hypercast quadcast that has like a a a, a a green glow instead of the red or the the, the multicolor and just be like this is for xbox only and things like that you can market the us microphone for xbox and make money all, off that and again i feel like a lot of these decisions that xbox makes is because they're trying to make as much money as possible you know nickel and dime the community as, as much as they possibly can instead of just having these features just built into the game <clears throat> and the weird thing the weird thing about it is you can plug in a usb uh, webcam into an xbox and it'll work I've done it before I, I got my PC. I used to stream from console and I would plug in my, uh, my, 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 my cam, my cam, my, I, have a, I have a key light. I will, I will, pl I will plug it into my, my Xbox and it will, it will work, you know, but I, I will have to use my razor crackers for, for audio. And that kind of sucks, you know, cause you, another thing about console, and I mentioned this to my, my recent stream when I was playing siege on console, um, you, there is no push to talk 
when it comes to playing games on console so if you if you're if you have your 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 headset on you know let's say some razor black sharks your astros whatever you're a content creator it would be so convenient to be able to like have your regular microphone that you talk to your chat with and then you know, your, your headset to where you can talk to your friends and your friends aren't having to hear you communicate with your chat and it's like hey like my dude mute yourself but you can't yourself because you don't have a second a secondary microphone that you can use for, for audio so there's these inconvenient things that you know could be easily rectified or, or or changed or made better if you just let people use use microphones on on the console like i'll give you tell you an example right now i bought a um a hyperx microphone recently it's like a cheaper version of the quadcast it's like a smaller one it's like a mini and i was going to plug it in this is how i found out you could use us plug and play usb for, for xbox i bought it plugged it in to use my, my xbox and it didn't work so i got a refund so so hyperx lost money so like a partner of xbox just had literally just lost money on a product because it, i couldn't use it for for, for xbox that's how simple this, this 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 is and it's unfortunate because i do love the xbox this isn't like some some sony shill who's trying to freaking like trash xbox i'm making this video because i want xbox to see it and decide to do changes decide to start making controllers that have a built-in battery battery so to start you know allowing us to use different hard drives and not a proprietary hard drive or even let us use like some ssd some things like like like, like that um to allow us to be able to plug in our, our microphones directly into the xbox that have usb and, and and use them i want them to see that and make these changes because i feel like those things will make xbox an even better platform and again these are things that like the batteries and microphones these aren't a problem on playstation it's, it's not so you don't want to have your competitor having an, these kind of advantages that are very simple you know controller a controller that uses battery instead of battery pack is an advantage for, for playstation being able to plug in a usb microphone into a playstation is an advantage so the last thing I want to talk about in this video um, isn't really a convenience thing. It's more of a missing feature, a feature that Xbox used to have that I think was really cool and definitely ahead of its time and should be brought back. You know, I feel like this console should be powerful enough to just have it as a regular feature, and that is the snap feature. For those who remember back when Xbox One first came out, it had this feature called the snap feature where you can literally, on the side of your screen, have a different app opened up. It's like you can be looking be listen to you can have spotify pulled up on, on like the right side of your screen while you're still playing your game you can have a youtube video playing on the side of your screen while you're still playing game you can have a twitch video playing on the side of your screen while you're still playing your games <clears throat> to me this is a really cool feature and i don't know why they got rid of it i'm, I'm sure if i looked it up they're probably it's like like an, an explanation that when they rid of it but i think this, i thought it was a really cool feature that i, I wish they brought back to, to the series x and just in general should be a standard within the xbox ecosystem it's a really cool feature it's really nice it'd be cool to be able to just you know watch youtube or twitch while, while also playing games especially if it's a game where i don't necessarily need to like have you know as much like if I'm, not, if I'm not playing like a shooter for example if i'm playing like just some casual game where you know let's say even if i'm playing a game like red dead online or you know stardew valley any game where you can just like you, where you mostly just are just doing menial tasks you know regular labor in, in a game you know hunting and things like that but you also want like some white noise you, you're just you, you can you know keep up or what, whatever's going on twitch or or youtube the snap feature was, was great for that so i really hope that they, that they bring that back i hope that's something that they're considering because it'd be a cool feature i'm part of the pre-program and out and uh the, the ambassador xbox ambassadors so like it would be great if they if they send out like an ambassador email or the alpha program they're like hey we're, we're testing we're gonna, we're gonna test it out bringing back the snap feature and see how how it works with you guys on series x or even when it comes to the whole usb thing like hey we're gonna, we're gonna come out with a firmware update pretty soon uh, a lot of these usb mics on, on, on xbox these are all be great things now, at the end of the day, when it comes down to this video, when it comes down to this topic, when it comes down to, you know, this situation, it's all about making the platform better. This isn't me sh shitting on Xbox or complaining about Xbox. It's me wanting the thing, wanting the console that I play on, you know, to be better. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of of coexistence. I would own a PS5 if it was, if it was in, in, in the financial plans. Like, I'm not against that. You know, I want to own a Switch again financials i own a pc i own an xbox i'm like i'm okay with owning all platforms when it's possible but i do prefer the xbox it's my preferred platform and it has been since the original xbox been playing xbox games since then i, I was even a dreamcast guy and if you also know about the history of xbox and, and, and dreamcast it's kind of like some similarities there when it, when it came to you know their upbringing and things like 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 that 
Um, so I want Xbox to succeed. This isn't a hate video. This isn't a, a Sony show video or a PC master race guy making a video. Nothing like that. I'm a fan of the Xbox platform and I just want it to be better. I think the Series X is a great platform. I think it, it it's an amazing piece of hardware, piece of technology that has provided me with, with a lot of great memories and, and great time thus far. But again, there's things that I would want for it to be better. I want it to be better for content creators. I want it to be better just overall. I want it to be better for my, my own playing experience. I would love to be able to just use, let's say, my quadcast, which is my, my content on PC. I would love to be able to just plug this as my Xbox and use it as my standard microphone and then buy a whole another microphone that I use a PC. It, it just it would just be, be a, little, a little more more cooler convenient to have you know this clear microphone on console, not the shit microphone that you give with, with the headsets. And if you're a headset provider who's like, yo, if you, we do that, we'll lose money on headsets. People like convenience. Headsets will always be more convenient than, say, buying some some IEMs and a buying a microphone separately. These are two separate separate products. A headset will also be more convenient. People also might not like having IEMs in their ears for six hours a, a day. So again, headphones more convenient. So you won't lose money on that kind of change because people still still um, buy headphones and at the same time if you're a razor if you're well hyper already has some but if you're a razor if you're you know ash shows something like that make iams you know get some gamers or get people like 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 chronicle or kind of chronicle and make iams for people who want to be able to use iams instead of using headsets there's a way for, for everyone involved to win xbox will make money razor makes money people who play video games will be satisfied and happy that simple with all I said, is if this video, thank you for watching. Hold on, enjoy. Leave me thoughts you have in the comments below. Do all these algorithm minds. I'll be avoiding newest. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Deuces.